This technology holds the promise to shorten the process time and have a better quality and a safe product for our consumers. People are familiar with normal microwave because of the domestic experiences using the ovens at home. That system, uh, that unit is very small and also uses a short wave, 2 for 50 megahertz. Our processes are different in the sense that and the microwave uses a non-wave, 950 megahertz, which is about three times of the wavelengths they use at home. That long wave provides more uniform heating and a very stable microwave pattern inside the food package. This is the first time ever in the U.S. that a microwave-based technology for low-acid food has been approved. The order of processing shelf-stable low-acid product is to using retort, similar to a pressure cooker. And that process takes a long time because the slow heat movement from the surface to the center. That process takes about an hour or so for this size of a can. With new technology, this process takes about eight minutes. And it's going to be a much cleaner working environment and, of course, better quality. When you put a salmon fillet into a can of product and run it through a conventional thermal process, the damage is so severe that you don't see the original shape. The impact is, is going to be tremendous once we commercialize this technology. We can see the texture difference, we can see color difference, we can see the appearance totally different from conventional process products. And we need some chemical analysis that proves that you have a quite higher retention of the nutrients. Yeah, this project actually was started with the interest to produce a MRE, meal ready to eat, single meals for soldiers in the battlefield. But then the food companies join in and they want to produce shelf-stable meals using the new technology. Uh, NASA has an interest in this technology as well to produce a whole range of uh, products so you can send this to a space station or eventually bring to Mars. Mm -hmm.